Hi everyone, so while I'm still kind of in that excitement of having discovered something very useful uh, which is photography related, I thought I will do a quick video to share it with you. So basically I told you I had a few projects in mind and one of the projects was um, there was this collage of frames that I bought, bought for my son's room and I think I bought it maybe when I still was pregnant with him or close to the time of giving birth but basically it's been a long time now since I actually you know um, sat down and said to myself no that's it I want to fill it up so I might insert an image of that frame at the end of the video so you can have a look but I'm so happy I have finally done it and the reason I'm so excited is because I have discovered finally how to use my selfie printer and although I told you um, previously when I did a review is that I'm not 100% happy with the quality it's not sort of how shall I say the you know when you have a very expensive um, camera and you take a impeccable quality picture you kind of expect then for the print to come out exactly the same quality but it doesn't happen and very often as well once you go through um, a few um, stages of formatting into the right size also photoshopping and things like that the quality slowly decreases unfortunately there is no such thing yet that will would maintain that high quality um, resolution for your end result but Having said that, um, it is still very useful to understand how to format the picture in such a way that you get the right kind of um, result. So I have a few examples over here. So first of all, I'll just show you my Okay, selfie. so here's my selfie. It's super compact. Um, it comes in different colors. I think I went for a white because I have white furniture and sort of great trimmings like a task, desk, um, carpets and so on. So it kind of works really well decor-wise. Um, so all you need to know is, um, I'm not going to do sort of a um, full review here again, but I just wanted to show you. So this is where the paper cassette goes in and on this side is where the ink cassette goes in. So um, when you buy selfie, when I bought it, I had a um, postcard paper cassette included, but I didn't have paper included. So for some reason I was really into the small, um, well not for some reason, I just really liked the small size picture so I decided when I was purchasing um, the selfie I decided to purchase instead of the postcard um, paper size I went for the card size cassette with the paper so um, you buy them separately and um, so you lift it and you open it fully like this and you put your paper into there then you click it and then when you need to insert it into this compartment at the bottom you basically clip it in there and when you're done you close it's important to close um, this part so that no dust goes onto your paper so that's the size right here this is the size of the card size and if I show you in the print this is what it looks like so you have an option of printing frame or without frame so border board with border or borderless so when it's borderless I'll show you again I showed you in the previous video or something but so here is the borderless example and that's that. So that's pretty much all you can do. You could um, do collages, so you could find um, an app that would help you to collage images, but they would be way too small for my opinion. But if that's what you like, you could do that. So these bits here, you always clip them away because apparently I didn't know what they're for, but they are to so that the printer can pull them as as the printer prints the picture it will come out um, a few times so I think first it's the yellow then it's I think either pink or blue and so every time the picture comes in and out in and out out of the back and front and so on so these bits help the printer to grab onto the um, picture and sort of move it so 
Um, also, if you um, notice, you with the card size, you have rounded corners. And that's something you could possibly cut if you want. So you could cut them and make it a square. Or you could make it um, look like a um, Polaroid. So I'll show you what I've done here. So here, for example, is how I made it to look like a Polaroid. So you just cut around the frame, you lift the sides and you cut the top to fit the size of the, of the um, sides. And then you cut as much as you want of the bottom um, so that you don't have the rounded bits. And it kind of gives you that look of a Polaroid. So it makes it a bit more interesting. If you want, you could cut it further and just have the white frame around it. So that's the flexibility that you have with the card size. Now, I had card size for a while and I kind of felt after a while uh, a little bit limited, limit, limiting because I couldn't do too much. And so then I decided to try the postcard and that's when I really, really have discovered something quite useful. So. I didn't have to buy the postcard paper cassette, as I said, it came free with the order. But I did have to buy the paper, and this is what it looks like. So it, it basically looks like a postcard, you know, you could stick a stamp over here and write, or whatever. But um, the size, I will actually put it uh, down here. So <clears throat> here's what it looks like, and it has also these um, bits um, at the end which are perforated as well and so you clip them off like in the previous but um, as you can see the corners are sharp here so it's not rounded no rounded corners now what I've done is basically the reason I didn't want to order to begin with is because I didn't want big pictures but what I didn't realize is that there is a way to make collages within this big size that would give you very good sized pictures which are not too small they're not too big and you have a variety to play with so um, I have just for that frame that I mentioned in the beginning of the video I have done let me see one two so three different um, layouts so one would be a full picture like this so the full size then I, I done a collage where I would kind of separate um, the pictures in the middle and have two of this size so here is an example and then I've done one this direction so that I would have pictures basically rotated the other side lengthwise and what that gave me is that um, that made it possible for me to fit in 10 images into 7 frames. So that is very useful and it, it looks quite cute actually. So if you don't like that look of big images, I'll try to take to show you the frame right now as it's on the floor. I'll just grab it quickly um, because it's easier for you to see. I hope I can get it into frame. It's quite big. So for example, here is a frame and instead of having one big image I separated it into two and it looks so adorable I think it's so great because then you can match the pictures according to the color scheme and make it look a little bit more personalized then um, I've done the same size I cut it out and then I have a perfect square um, so then the one in the middle is a big size it just sorry I can't get it into frame but it's basically, um, I just cut out a round and then that's, that's really it. So um, <clears throat> one thing I'll also explain to you is about the frames. Okay, so in terms of frames, you can, again, when you select to print it, you can select um, to, to have it either with a border that would be just a click postcard or if you don't want the border, if you don't want the white frame around it, you click postcard borderless. Okay, so this is the borderless picture. What it does, it blows it out a little bit and it actually, as it does, it cuts off um, a part of the picture as well. So you will notice once it's printed out, it actually comes out a little bit smaller um, uh, or zoomed in than, than the original picture you were printing. So if you want to have the perfect picture that you wanted then go for the border 
and this was the same picture I just cut off the bottom here but this is the example of the border so it makes the picture slightly smaller but you get in the full picture the, of the original size that you wanted to print. Now how I've done this, there is an app which I first tried on my phone, it's called the Pick Frame, but I had to get the same app for my um, for my Mac, um, MacBook Pro, and I had to pay some money. I think it was a little, it felt a little bit expensive because generally I don't pay that much money for the apps, but um, it was totally worth it. So when you go onto that app, make sure on the top corner on your phone it will be on the left, uh, no, on the right top corner and on the um, computer it will be on the top um, also sort of rightish middle side. Middle side. Um, select 3-2 or 2-3. So 3-2 will be this way or if you want 2-3 it will be that way. And then you just collage the pictures and you get, in one print you get two, you could get more if you want, but I just like this size, it's perfect for me, I don't want anything too too small, but ideally, um, and oh, the other thing, it gives you the possibility, if you want, you can move the uh, frame, so you can make one picture smaller, the other picture bigger, so it's fantastic for that. I would highly recommend it. It just made my life so much easier, and as I was showing you, oh, one thing, do not print from that app uh, directly. So there is a print icon on the top right side. Do not use that because what it does, it really kind of cuts off. So this was the original image and that's what it came out of. I just wanted to see what how it would work because it didn't ask you for any parameters, for any uh, format, size, nothing like that. And that's what it came out. So don't waste your paper. I think I'll somehow try and maybe cut it out and journal about it because it's still a cute little side um, of the image and um, yeah um, that is it I will also go ahead and do this picture because I like it so much we live in the countryside and this was I think around May that's the time when the rapeseed um, fields are in full bloom and I absolutely love them so we just stopped off um, by one of the fields and ran inside and took pictures it just it's so pretty so I found this frame surprise surprise at Tesco on the weekend when we were doing our grocery shopping and I just thought this works amazingly it was quite cheap I think around six five pounds something like that it works really good with the color scheme of my studio because I have a lot of this kind of well, not a lot of gold, but I do have gold and this aqua color in the decor. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to um, cut the picture to size and how easy it is to just, you know, start to um, print your own pictures at the, the uh, comfort of your own home. And Okay, so I went ahead and um, stuck it in. I actually didn't even cut it because in case I want to use it um, for something else, um, for an, another um, frame, I could just take it off. So I just used some washi to secure it at the back so it wouldn't move around. And you can see there is a little bit of that line. So this was the um, postcard print with the border. However, if you, um, if I would have ticked it as borderless and printed it that way, I would not have the lines and therefore it would be a full picture. But I don't really mind. It's not too big of a frame that it would bother me. Um, it probably would be better if it was all the way around, but honestly, I just appreciate the moment that the picture was taken in and it'll make me feel good and happy about having this picture. So, yeah, it's, I think... <laughs> I kind of was skeptical when I got the um, selfie first and I just sort of wasn't happy with the quality but it it's something I have to, you have to kind of bite the bullet and rather enjoy the meaning of the pictures than the 100% quality that you like sometimes I feel that is the case. And so um, that is it. I hope you found it helpful and that it will encourage you to print out your family pictures or your friends' pictures or your own pictures and um, put them into frames, do something with them, decorate your house um, and just be creative and enjoy the memories um, that you have together. Thanks for watching and see you soon.